Good evening. I'm Brett Baer. His bags are packed. His office is cleaned out. He's ready to head out of town. But Defense Secretary Leon Panetta isn't riding off into the sunset of California retirement just yet. Senate Republicans are blocking a vote on Panetta's embattled replacement over, among other things, questions about the Libya terror attack last September. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel on what's holding up Chuck Hagel. Senate Republicans successfully delayed former Senator Chuck Hagel's controversial nomination as Secretary of Defense. Late today, a procedural vote failed after Senator John McCain had made the case for waiting until after next week's recess. I think that that is a sufficient period of time to get answers to outstanding questions, and I think that Senator Hagel, after that period of time, deserves a cloture vote and a uh, up or down vote on his nomination. I have valued uh, your thoughts and your contributions, and I think uh, most all of us in public office feel that way. Among the questions, speeches like this one from June 13, 2008, before the Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee, which Hagel had not disclosed to the Armed Services Committee. Earlier, a frustrated Senate Majority Leader blasted Republicans for holding up Hagel's nomination to lead the Pentagon. It's shocking that my Republican colleagues would leave the nation without a a fully empowered Secretary of Defense during all the things we have going on in the world, including a war. But retiring Secretary Leon Panetta isn't leaving yet, and leading Republicans say the 60-vote requirement is not unusual, and Reid was fine with it when it was President Bush's nominees. The top Republican on the Senate Armed Services Committee says members have legitimate concerns. Those of us who are in the minority on the Senate Armed Services Committee should demand that any member of the Senate Armed Services Committee should have his questions answered before we vote on the confirmation of Hagel to be Secretary of Defense. Other leading Republicans have demanded answers about the Benghazi terror attack last September 11th where four Americans were killed. This letter was sent today to Lindsey Graham, McCain and Kelly Ayotte who've asked if Mr. Obama spoke with Libyan government officials during the attack. White House counsel Catherine Rumler wrote, quote, Secretary Clinton called Libyan President Magarif on behalf of the president on the evening of September 11, 2012, to coordinate additional support to protect Americans in Libya and access to Libyan territory. That revelation angered Graham. The president of the United States did not make any phone calls to any government official in Libya the entire period of the attack. We found out from the, le uh, the letter he called government officials in Libya on September the 12th after everybody was dead. We would not have gotten answers but for pushing for this. And frankly, the more answers we've gotten, I think, that we've shown here uh, that this was a national security failure. Late today in a Google Plus hangout, President Obama said Chuck Hagel is eminently qualified to be Secretary of Defense. The president says he deserves a vote and predicted eventually he will get confirmed. Brett? Mike Emanuel live on the Hill. Mike, thanks. We just got word from the Pentagon that the Defense Secretary Leon Panetta is heading to California tonight, to Monterey, and he is also heading as Defense Secretary to Brussels next week as Defense Secretary to the NATO <coughs> ministerial meeting.